the Tower of London project, it's such an exciting project for me because it's depicting both wild animals and wild animals in captivity. So these, these won't be wimpy zoo animals, these are very much wild in tooth and claw, very sort of brutalised animals. So it's really sort of capturing the sense of energy of a sort of wild beast within the confines of somewhere like the Tower. It's such an extraordinary story and also really a little known story and something that's very intriguing and we thought would surprise people about the Tower of London and yet it's such an important part of its history. It was here for 600 years. For the project um, we're making three lions. There's also an, an elephant which was a particular favourite of Henry III. I'm also making a polar bear which I've not made before and uh, there's sort of record keeping of him actually fishing for his food in the River Thames which is just an extraordinary image to think of this huge animal from the Arctic fishing in the Thames. Yes, he's going to be um, quite a challenge to produce and I want him to be sort of a very sort of wet polar bear to really sort of get across the sort of musculature and the, the sort of power of this enormous beast. This, this whole idea of exotic beasts being something, well, as they are, absolutely incredible, something that people hadn't seen, something that lots of people would have thought also didn't actually exist. How do you know, if you live in England, that a unicorn isn't real and an elephant is? Um, people did believe very strange things, or what we would consider very strange things, about the animals, one of which was that elephants would drink wine. Um, this is particularly in the 17th century. There's an Indian elephant which is given to the king, and it's given I think two gallons of wine a day um, and it's partly to do with the regality and the royalness of the elephant that it was seen that it should drink this kind of thing but it was also just felt that that was how elephants operated though I'm not sure how people thought that an elephant would get a barrel of wine in the wild but there you go. It's, it's an amazingly sort of pliable material it looks harsh and sort of unbending but it's, it's, it's actually quite soft to use so you can get really incredible detail with it. We're just absolutely delighted to have commissioned Kendra to make these sculptures and we were just struck by how incredibly lifelike her sculptures are. She somehow manages to really capture the spirit and the movement of the creatures. Such a huge privilege and a huge responsibility as well to, to be asked to depict these animals. I really want to sort of do them justice, for want of a better expression, but just to really recreate their presence and their power, and to a certain extent their pain as well really, how they would have been at the tower.